Hello guys, today on the table I have the Marvel Legends Spider-Man, technically Spider-Man 2 on the box, but really it's from the way home, Dr. Octopus, or Doc Ock. I've been waiting to get this figure since it was revealed, and I've been like literally obsessed, so I'm so excited to get straight into this. Uh, I didn't leave my knife on my table over here. Excuse my bad planning, and let me get it. But now let's open this guy up. Oh, I've been waiting so long. Actually, I'll give you a look at the back for a sec there. Yeah. I think this is going to be my favorite figure I have already. And I haven't even opened it yet. If I can actually get a point to open it for him. There we go. Cut that tape. We're going to pull it from the back right here. Let's open this guy up. If I can get better opening skills. Oh, this looks this looks very well packaged. Okay, I have no idea how to see the start, so I'm just gonna start ripping stuff. So uh yeah, I guess those are like the hands and stuff. So uh yeah, let's get all this like kind of package. That's a big, oh my gosh, that's a big piece of paper. There we go. Oh my gosh, I've been waiting so long for that. Um, I guess that's an alright face scope. Open that up. That's all like the, so what's in there? There we have all of the things, or maybe not all of them. My bad. Whoops. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll get better uh, camera camera skills. Alright, I might not be able to do this. These must be the ones that. Okay, the rest of the hands. The rest of the hands. If I can get it open, I'm struggling so bad. And then the other ones are right here. I right, I'll just wait. But yeah, that's the one that moves. So. Let's take a closer look at all of the pieces of this figure and the mess I made. For his accessories, he comes with two uh, hands that are open. Now, he doesn't really have anything to hold, but I guess they're nice for some, some poses. So, yeah, that's all he gets for accessories. Maybe a couple more things would have been nice. Here's the full Dr. Octopus figure, all put together with all of the accessories on the arms. Man, I think this is a really great figure. It's really difficult to get him to stand like this. Because, like, oh, that actually really works. But, um, yeah, it took me a lot of time to, like, get him to stand. And these things are kind of difficult to, like, move around. But they do move. They're not, like, completely stiff. They're just a little, I, I would say, not really inconvenient. Just, like, not as easy as it should be. I... I think they might just need some warm water, but they also come with these. I see these ones are meant to be on the ground when he's standing up. Comes with two of them, of course. And then it comes with these two. And yeah, you can put them on either side, but in the movies, these ones, they're a little different. These ones are on the bottom, and then these ones are on the top. And the ones on the top actually move. And you can like create the uh, whatever that is. You can close them. Yeah. So like really, there's like a lot of poses you can get this figure in. It's actually kind of insane. The trench coat is on there, pretty nice. Uh, it is plastic though, like all Marvel Legends. But I guess this one looks a little better than others. He comes with two fists. There's pretty good range of articulation with the arms and all that. There isn't a double joint there, but I guess it's all right. He's a bit older, so I wouldn't. Mind. You can't really test out the leg movement, but there's there. It's got it there. Ooh, the feet are really nice. Look at that. And then same with the other leg, of course. And of course, the ab crunch isn't really there. It's kind of like non-existent. But then again, he is also older, 
so there isn't really much he can do anyways in the movie so yeah finally finally a little congested I think uh, let's take a look at the head sculpt let's get some light on that I am a little bit disappointed on this it's it definitely looks like Alfred Milena but I do not like the glasses on it and I would have definitely loved maybe a different hairstyle I don't know this is kind of more represented of what he looked like in Spider-Man 2 I would kind of prefer the hairstyle he had in No Way Home because I really like his hair in that but I guess it's fine but I don't know there's something about it that I don't really like I think it's like the chin right there how it's not evil or I'm not evil oh my gosh not equal <laughs> but yeah I guess it's a good head scope like it, the eyes back there look really nice you can actually really see the eyes really well just the glasses and the chin kind of set me off a lot and the hair so yeah I don't really like this head sculpt too much I'm not in love with it but yeah overall I think it's a really good figure um, for me, it was worth the $38, or I spent 40 but it retails for like $38.99, kind of weird. I think it was worth that, but really, I think it should have been more like $29.99, $30 on the dot. That's what I would recommend. But, I, for me, it was worth it. I don't really know how to explain it. I just, Doc Ock's like my favorite Spider-Man villain, so of course I really like him. So yeah, I'm really happy with the figure. I would have maybe liked gold on this. I don't know if these arms these arms aren't really accurate. So maybe they could have done better on the face sculpt and maybe like the sculpting of the arms, but honestly, I really like this figure. I've been wanting a Doc Ock Marvel Legends figure forever. So I guess I'm happy with this as happy as I can be. So yeah, I'll see you guys in more Marvel Legends reviews later. So yeah, bye-bye.